Hello nerds and turds. I'm Zip. I draw, and this is Zip Draw. Boom, pachika boom, pachika chika chika boom, pachika boom, wiki 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 boom, pachika boom. <laughs> God damn it, that's so stupid. That's so stupid. Yeah, that's uh that intro is temporary, guys. I'm gonna be updating it soon. Anyways, uh, this is uh, last week's uh, six fan arts challenge. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, completed. Uh, if you want to see it, you can, there's going to be a link in the description box below. Check it out if you're cool. And if you're not, you're, you're going to be lame. Uh, <laughs> also, if you have any suggestions, uh, let me know in the comments and I might draw it again in the next for the next episode. Uh, I'll be streaming the process this coming Wednesday. Uh, yeah, be sure to check it out. Yeah, so we're starting first with Fat Thor. Uh, Fat Thor was suggested to me by a good friend of mine, uh, Alejandro Anguiano. Uh, I knew this guy from college. Uh, in fact, I actually got a drawing on above my desk, and it's a drawing that he drew of me uh, looking crazy, yelling, draw! Uh, and I, it's my inspiration. But enough about that guy. This is about me. This is my channel. <laughs> nah, he's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, uh, Fat Thor. I really like this character, especially his character arc, his story, uh, and throughout all the Marvel films. Uh, I really feel for him. Uh, I liked him, uh, and I really loved his character. And Oh, and I did this random hand tutorial here, because somebody mentioned that the hands are hard to draw, so I just showed him my method and the proper method. And uh, If you guys want to see me do something like this, let me know. Again, in the, in the comments. Tell me, hey, Zip, uh, do a one of how do you draw hands. And I'll be like, all right, all right, I'll do it. Now that I see that there's interest. Anyways, working on this uh, Fat Thor. Really loved him. I uh, liked his uh, his look in Avengers Endgame. I uh, I was really hesitant. I was worried about his uh, how I was going to do the pattern in his jacket, uh, or his uh, sweater. Uh, but... Uh, I was overthinking and I was getting too worried. I, I knew I knew what I was supposed to be doing. Uh, oh, and the beer bottle here. I did that a little trick there. I did that on a different layers, uh, two different layers, uh, a, a low opacity layer for the brown bottle, and then uh, a pa uh, an overlay layer of gold, I think. Um, oh yeah, if you look in the patterns on his right shoulder, our left, is my name. I uh, I signed my name into his uh, his sweater because you know all about me <laughs> um so yeah uh we, we went this time i went with a green uh kind of a sickly color but i, I don't know i thought it was gonna look really cool and did look cool i i like the the end result very earth tones uh and so yeah that was fat thor now we're moving on to ralph gracie uh last week i drew kurt oziander he was uh requested by gene 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 kim and uh, he uh, requested also Ralph Gracie, so I drew him as well. Uh, I did it with the same style as I did uh, Kurt Oziander. I really loved that hard shadows with uh, with just a blobby black brush, you know, hard brush just going and taking up uh, huge portions of uh, line work with uh, ink or black. When I mean ink and everything like that, I, I still, I mean digitally black ink so whatever you, you know what I mean uh, so yeah I uh, I really like how his came out as well I I already had the the style the stylized thing down the sketchiness and you know the, the quick hatching and uh, cross hatching and everything uh, I even love how the color came out the only thing though that bugs me right now even looking at it is that I probably shouldn't have shaded completely his right eye. There was a moment where I had his eye looking perfect, but I shaded over it for some re for some reason. Good job, dummy. Good job, passes it. Uh, but it's all right. It's okay. It still came out looking pretty cool. I even like that little um, ambient lighting uh, on the bottom right there, of blue. So yeah, after Ralph Gracie, we, we uh, I started to draw Leela. Uh, from Futurama, uh, requested uh, on Facebook through, by a friend, uh, his girlfriend or his wife, I think it's his wife, or his, yeah, yes, they got married. Uh, his wife, uh, uh, her her fan is she, she's a fan of Futurama, not her fan. Uh, 
and uh yeah he wanted to see me draw her in my style and oh man i was a uh, i was a little worried because i was like man hopefully i can capture the feel of the character but still in my style and i think i did a pretty good job also fun little weird fact uh, something that i never noticed lila doesn't have any eyebrows um she doesn't have a eyebrow and it, it i tried to draw one at one point and it looked weird so i just yeah stay without it and it looks good uh, she looked pretty good she looks real cool i love painting background space so that's my one of my favorite things so every time somebody tells me to do something sci-fi something space related fuck yeah um get to paint some space uh so yeah i really like how she came out in the end to tell you the truth there you go yeah and then the the the, the, the little bit of blush in the red and on her face is actually what made a lot of that pop some more um i've been learning little bits here and there and i put it like an overlay of purple and pink because uh you know to match back <laughs> for how long I took on each one. This all together took like four hours. Uh, yeah, now here we go, we got Bob here. I, I originally had that drawing, but I didn't want the, his ax to get in the way of his background. But Bob, I picked this one. This was my fan art piece that I chose. Um, back in Texas, I used to teach a, uh, I got asked to teach a uh, uh, how to draw comics class at a, uh, comic book shop slash cafe slash uh, game shop it was really awesome it was in new Braunfels, texas and uh i taught this class and one of the kids his name was uh uh well i don't know if i should say his name but he he's pizza skunk uh on youtube and on uh instagram i'll put a link to his stuff below as well he's a funny kid great kid i loved him in the class he was hilarious he had us all laughing but he also had his own comic book and uh, his dad also worked there. He's, he's the, he was the manager at the place, so um, I, I hung out with him after the class ended, and he was telling me about his comic book character uh, or his story and his Bob the Barbarian. He looks very different from when I saw him. So when I asked if I could draw him, he gave me his reference, and 
whoa, Bob changed a lot, but he lo still looks really freaking cool. There's Bob, the Barbarian, his sidekick, the Minotaur, and uh, they, they ride a giant jellyfish. Uh, it is crazy and it's awesome, and I hope they can't wait to see more from this kid. Uh, so yeah, okay, now we got uh, the last one is the Lich King, also uh, recommended through uh, Facebook. And uh, but if you have a recommendation, just stick right here in uh, in YouTube. Uh, but yeah, uh, I got the Lich King from a good friend of mine, uh, Derek, and he had the Lich King in mind. I absolutely love Adventure Time, and I really was excited about drawing this. I wanted to know if I can do it justice, and it wasn't hard as uh, as hard as I was making it out to seem in my head. Uh, I was like, I don't know if I can capture that style, that creepy character, but in the cartoony style of the dude who makes Adventure Time, I forget his name. Um, and uh, but yeah, I actually did uh, Pemton Ward. Uh, I actually did pretty good. Um, that that's the name of the creator of Adventure Time. Uh, anyways, uh, uh, I was really proud of this. Uh, the green, uh, I wanted it to make it look like that was the only thing that was lighting the scene. Uh, but still give it that creep factor and I believe uh, I think I blew it out of the water uh, I, I I'm pretty happy with it and I hope he is too Yeah, look at that And it always ending with the cool eyes So yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this this was a uh, fun. I like doing these six fan arts things. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions yourself, again, leave it in the comments below. Like, subscribe, all that other crap. And uh, yeah, uh, keep encouraging. You know this uh, if you if you like if you like it. Uh, if you don't, um, well, yeah, leave a comment still saying, "Hey, I hate the way you drew that dude with the glasses," and I'll be like, "Oh, all right. Well, that hurts my feelings." But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and uh, I love you. I love you.